Hello everyone, in our today's video, we will prove the divergence of our unit vector by our magnitude square is equal to zero. Our del dot, our unit vector divided by r square is equal to zero. Let v is a function, our vector is equal to our unit vector divided by r square. And according to the definition of our unit vector, we know that the r unit vector is equal to r vector divided by r magnitude. Let's substitute the value of our unit vector in this equation. Substituting the values for our unit vector in this equation, we will get vector v is equal to r vector divided by r cube. Now let's suppose r is a vector and r vector is equal to xi plus yj plus zk. And the magnitude we know of any vector is equal to x square plus y square plus z square whole under the root. And del is a vector operator, this del, we know that del is a vector operator and it is equal to curly by curly of x into i unit vector plus curly by curly of y into j unit vector plus curly by curly of z into k unit vector. Now substituting the values and taking the divergence of this v, we will get del dot v is equal to del, del is this vector operator dot r vector divided by r cube which is equal to curly by curly of x i unit vector plus curly by curly of y j plus curly by curly of z into k. Now dot r is a vector which is equal to x i plus y j plus z k. This is the value of this r r vector. And this under root x square plus y square plus z square whole power uh, 3 is the value of this r cube. Now let's take the dot product between uh, these two. Before taking the dot product, we will uh, further uh, simplify this term. Now del dot v is equal to, this is the value of del and xi divided by x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 plus yj divided by x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2. This 1 over 2 is due to this under root. Similarly, for the z term, we have just separated the xi, yj and zk from each other uh, and write it this equation in this form. Now let's take the dot product of uh, this del with function v. Taking the dot product are the divergence, but before taking this divergence, we will further simplify this. Uh, we will shift this x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 from the denominator to the nominator. Here you see this is xi, x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 3 by 2. When this term shift from the denominator to the nominator, the sign of plus 3 by 2 change to minus 3 by 2 similarly for the y term and similarly for the z term. Now taking the dot product or the divergence between this del and this whole term, now taking the dot product, we know that i dot i is equal to 1, j dot j is equal to 1, and k dot k is equal to 1. But i dot j, i dot k, k dot i, j dot i, etc. are equal to 0. So we will be dealing only with i dot i, j dot j, and k dot k. So taking i dot i, we will get curly by curly of x, this term multiplied with this term. So curly by curly of x into x into x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 3 by 2. Now for the second term curly by curly of y into j we will get j dot j is equal to 1 and curly by curly of y into y into x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 3 by 2 and similarly we will get this term for the uh, z 
this z component of the vector now for solving this equation further we will use the product rule for taking the differential of this term this term and this third term we know that according to product rule if you have two terms a and b two variables and taking the differential of this with respect to x we will we will first write first term differential of the second term dv by dx plus second term and differential of the first term similarly here we have two terms one is x and the second term is x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 3 by 2 now taking the differential with respect to x of this term the partial differential with respect to x of this term we will get x into curly by curly of x into x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 3 by 2 plus now this time the second term is the second term and curly by curly of x into x this is the first term here this was the first term and this was the second term now applying this partial differential to this term we will get x this is this x into minus 3 by 2 into x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 3 by 2 minus 1 so minus 3 by 2 minus 1 becomes minus 5 by 2 taking again the differential of this internal term with respect to x we will get 2x and this y square and z square will become 0 so we do not need to write that okay here for the second term we have x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 3 by 2 and this is curly by curly of x into x which is equal to 1 so we have plus x square plus y square plus z square whole power minus 3 by 2. Now multiplying this 2x with this x we will get 2x square and this is minus 3 by 2 and shifting this minus 5 by 2 from the denominator to the denominator. So we will get minus 3 by 2 into 2x square divided by x square plus y square plus z square whole power 5 by 2 plus 1 over x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 is minus 3 by 2 will become plus 3 by 2 by shifting this from the denominator to the denominator. Similarly for y and z we will get this terms for y and this term for the z and this one is for the x. Uh, now we will simplify this equation this 1 over x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 this is also 1 over x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 and this is also 1 over x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 we will add up these three terms adding up these three terms we will get 3 divided by x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 now plus into minus 3 into x square divided by this is this term this term and this third one is this term so we have these three terms now the minus 3 divided by x square plus y square plus z square whole power 5 by 2 is common in this whole term in this side of the equation here the x square minus 3 divided by x square plus y square plus z square whole power 5 by 2 is common taking this Taking this term common from this whole equation, we will get minus 3 into 1 over x square plus y square plus z square whole power 5 by 2 into the remaining terms will be x square plus y square and plus z square. And the power of this will be equal to 1. Now shifting this from the denominator to the denominator and multiplying this plus with the minus, we will get 
3 divided by x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 minus 3 into this minus 1 and this 5 by 2 will add up with each other and 5 by 2 minus 1 is equal to 3 by 2. So this time this 3 by x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 minus 3 divided by x square plus y square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 both are similar and these two terms both will cancel out with each other and we will have del dot v or divergence of this v is equal to zero that's it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and comment your questions